In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a very cool NES emulator called 3D Sin. This emulator takes your classic NES games and turns them into fully playable 3D voxel dioramas. And the best part is you don't really have to do much to get this set up because the emulator will take your standard NES ROMs and turn them into 3D. Now this won't work for all NES games, but this emulator is still being worked on and more will be added in the future. Also, I must let you know that 3D Sin is not free to use. Okay, let's head over to the official site. I will leave the link to this page in a pinned comment below. Once you are here, you will see a download for the NES games in 3D and NES games in 3D and VR. And you have two different options of downloading this emulator. You can get it from Itch or you can get it from Steam. It doesn't matter which one you choose. I prefer to go with Steam. So I'm gonna click right here. Then it's gonna take you over to Steam. And as the recording of this video, this emulator is on sale for 40% off at $8.99. The original price is $15. So I'm gonna go ahead and purchase this emulator. Now, when you open the emulator, it should take you directly to the settings. And from here, we can set up our controller. Now you have the option to set up two controllers. You will come here where it says player. One will be the first controller, two will be your second controller. Now, since I am using a real controller with this emulator, I'm gonna come over to keyboard and instead I'm gonna select gamepad. Now, as you see, the emulator automatically mapped out my controller for me. I currently have an Xbox Series X controller connected to my PC. I have also tested a PS5 controller and it works. Now, if the emulator does not map your controller out for you, then all you wanna do is click inside of one of the boxes next to one of the buttons and you just hit a button on your controller and it will automatically map that controller out for you. Now, of course, if you wanna change a button, then you would just click in the box next to the button you wanna change and then hit that button on your controller. Now you're gonna also notice when you load up this emulator that you have background music. If you wanna turn this music off, then come up here where it says BG Music and you wanna uncheck this box. Now right here you see shadow and if you're wondering what this is, it adds shadows to your sprites in game. You can select your render rate, you can go up to 120, but leaving it on 90 is fine. And if you're gonna have a higher render rate, then make sure fast render is checked. This right here controls the speed of your gameplay. So if you wanna play a game really fast, then you can increase this. If you wanna slow a game down, then you can decrease this. If you wanna play in full screen instead of windowed, then you can leave this checked. You have your TV mode. I leave this on NTSC. You have TV box, which you have three different options here. What this does is creates a TV around your actual game. Now, I don't really like the way it looks. You can try this out if you would like. In Skybox. Now, what this does is creates an artificial background in your game, such as stars or clouds, or you can leave default, which will just be black. Once again, you can try these out and see if you like them. Now, let's go up to game. Now, not every NES game will have the 3D effect. But luckily, you can search here and it will show you all of the games that have the 3D effects. And you have nine pages to scroll through. Now, of course, you must have the ROM yourself to load these titles up and the emulator will do the rest for you. Now, I can't tell you where to find NES ROMs, but they are not hard to find. Just do a Google search. You will find what you are looking for or check out my Patreon page. I have a video there that can help you out. Link in the description. So let's go ahead and choose a game. We can do punch out. Once you click on the game, you will have to locate that ROM on your PC, which I have my ROMs on an external hard drive, which is this E drive. And I'm just gonna search for punch out. Here it is. And once you select that ROM, it will load up. Now, if you notice, you'll see how it looks like you're actually inside of a ring now. And if I rotate my right analog stick, as you can see, I can rotate around the actual ring. Now to exit out of your game, you just want to press the escape key. And this will take you back to the main menu to resume that game. Then over here to the right, you can click on the screenshot. We can try another game. Let's do Super Mario Brothers. So 
I'm going to change the sky box to fantasy just to show you guys what this looks like and I'll change it to gradient and this is what it looks like and if we go back into our game this is what gradient looks like and this is what fantasy looks like and last I'll show you guys what the TV box look like we can do TV one Now we're going to load up one more game so I can show you guys how the trigger zapper works and we're going to use duck hunt. Now to use your gun, you're going to use your mouse. All you want to do is right click. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like and let me know in the comments if you plan on using this emulator. And I will catch you guys in the next one.